then definitely the brightness increases. That means the brightness depends on the amount of electric current. The current increases, brightness increases. Current decreases, brightness also decreased. Here we are increasing the number of cells one by one. The brightness also increases. That means by increasing the number of cells, the amount of current increases. Okay, so here we got the two components. One is the cell or battery, another one is bulb. Now, if we connect these battery and the bulb together and the current is flowing continuously, due to this what happens? The energy stored inside the battery, inside the cell, is it decreasing because for the glow of bulb, to flow the electric current, the energy is supplied from the cell. So the energy stored in it is continuously decreasing. At last, the total energy stored inside is exhausted completely then we say the cell or battery is discharged. It become weaker. The cell become weaker or we can say it is discharged. To prevent this unnecessarily unwanted discharge or wastage of electrical energy, we can use one more component, one more device, that is the switch. A switch can be joined in this part. Now the switch may be connected anywhere. Suppose we are connecting the switch here. This is the switch. Switch also in various kinds. Here we are using a one type of switch. This is a kind of switch. It is a press switch. If you press it, it will come in contact. Then the current flows. So this is the switch. The battery, the bulb, right? Three components. When we when we on the switch, we switch it on. Switch it on means it has to be in touch with the this wire. When we switch it on, we say the switch is in the closed condition. It is in the closed condition. If we keep the switch in the off position, then it is in open. Open there will be a slight gap in between the two terminals, two parts. If it is open in the off position, closed on position. If it is kept in closed position, in the on position, then the electric current flows through this wire and through the bulb, then again to the <coughs> cell. Right? If it is kept in open position, if it is off, no current flows because for the flow of charges, the continuous path is required. The continuous path is required. Then only it is able to flow through the given path. So here we are closing it. Then we say that the bulb is glowing. It is glowing. If it is kept in open position, the bulb will not glow. Right? So, here we are using these components. The cell and the cells are connected together, makes battery, switch and the bulb. Right? And these components are connected with the help of the wires. We call them connecting wires. We call them connecting wires. The 
conducting wires they are also made up of metals mostly we use the copper wire we use copper wire the conducting wires in your house also you may have many electrical appliances and they are ha they are also having the wires consisting of a plug point and that wires also made up of copper because copper is one of the good conductor the best conductor of electric current is the silver the best is the silver and then copper then aluminium gold some other metals are also good conductor but the silver is the best conductor of electric current why do not why we are not using the silver wire because that silver is costly because of this copper copper is less cost compared to the silver so in most of the appliances the connection is made with the help of copper wire here also we are using copper wires as connecting wires so they are connected and we say that the electric current is flowing through the sparks through the bulb but the electric current is given direction as a, a particular direction in this direction here this is positive and a negative the negative charges are flowing in this side but the conventional direction of electric current is given from positive to negative so this is the direction of electric current this we call conventional direction of electric current that is from positive terminal to the components and then reaching the negative terminal this is the direction of electric current whenever we have the flow of current through any path then the direction of current should also be mentioned from leaving the positive terminal of the cell or battery and ending at a negative terminal that is the direction of electric current right so these are the means components we can say electrical components but these components cannot be drawn in the same manner as we draw now always because it, it is somewhat difficult to draw every time like this structure so we have the electric symbols of the components that all the electrical appliances electrical components are having the electric symbols are having the electric symbols always it is the electric symbols are used to show these components so let us begin from the components one by one first one is a cell electric cell since the electric cell has two terminals it is represented like this that is a longer line and a shorter line this is a longer line and shorter line the longer line represents the positive terminal shorter line represents negative terminal this is the representation of a cell right and then coming to battery battery since it is the group of cells connected connected together then it is the group of cells first cell then one more cell is joined with the, the cell one more cell is joined in this manner we can join any number of cells together so we put dotted to show the number of cells are joined together then at last one more cell so now this comb 